In this video, I'll be showing you how you can filter deck screener to avoid rug pulls. Now, this is actually a very quick and simple thing to do, so make sure you watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss any important steps. Now, if you weren't already aware, there are actually some filters that we can find in the top right corner. However, if we actually look through these, you might notice that none of these filters actually allow us to search via how safe they are. For example, there's no filter that allows you to see if the liquidity has actually been burned. So in my opinion, the best thing that you should be using is Bull X. Now the reason for that is we can see new pairs right here, just like we can with Deck Screener. However, they actually have advanced filters, and as you can see, I can choose to have Mint Off disabled, Freeze Off disabled, and LP Burnt, which means these coins that I will see right here are all relatively safe. Of course, they can still be rug pulled if the developer has too many tokens, but that's something that we can manually check very easily. And in my opinion, this is one of the best ways in which you can avoid rug pulls. So if you wanted to actually try out Bullex for yourself, I'll include an invitation link in the video description down below. And you can click on that to start getting started with Bullex. And once you've actually funded your account, you can head over to this new pair section. And we can then go to filter in the top right corner. So I'm just trading on Solana at the moment. However, they do support multiple chains, as you can see right here. But when I'm trading on Solana, I make sure to have these three ticked which means that all the coins we see will be pretty safe. As I mentioned earlier, they won't be 100% safe because the developer could still have some tokens. However, this is something we can check very easily with Bullex as well. So let's just say we saw this coin launch, Kobe, and we wanted to go ahead and check it out. Since we ticked those filters earlier, it means that this coin isn't going to straight up rug us. However, we will have to first go to the holders to check the supply. Now, as you can see, there's an insider badge next to a lot of these top holders which tells me that this coin has been bundled, which means this is probably a scam. So this is something we can stay away from. However, we can also check bubble maps to see if any of these wallets are connected. As you can see, each of these bubbles are their own bubbles and none are connected. So that means each of these wallets are their own person. So this bubble map looks good. However, I don't like the fact that these top holders are all insiders. So this would be something I avoid. However, if we click on something like this and go to holders, we can see that a few of the top holders are insiders, but most of these look like real wallets. And if we go on bubble maps on this as well, we can see that there are none connected here as well. So this would be something I would buy. So you can then choose how much Solana worth you want to buy, and you can simply buy right here. So although this isn't filtering deck screener, this is the next best way of doing it. And in my opinion, it's a lot safer. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please comment down below to say it helped you out. Thanks for watching.